Hi, I'm Celestine Maddie, and I lead the global brand team here at Pinterest. If you walk away from this talk believing one thing, let it be this. Pinterest is a place of prediction. We can see the future because Pinterest is where people around the world go to plan for it. 450 million people to be exact. Before I started working here, I was already using Pinterest for prediction, but in a way that's a little more woo woo than you might expect. Think moonstones, tarot spreads, you know, that whole astrology aesthetic. Millions of people are into it on Pinterest too. So much so that we named it one of our trends to watch for 2021. But see, trend spotting on Pinterest is just a little bit different. We aren't going to tell you what's already trending or round up trends from the past year. Nope, nada, everybody does that. Because we're a platform about the future, we're gonna tell you what will trend. Months before anyone else, Pinterest predicts is our not yet trending report. So let's take a look. So what gives us the right to claim we can predict stuff? Take a peek at this graph. It shows a few of the trends we called for 2020. You see those three dots? That's when we dropped our report. And then see those sharp inclines afterwards? Those are our trends continuing to spike. In fact, eight in 10 of the trends we predicted came true in 2020. How's that for psychic abilities? So what's on our radar for 2021? I bet you wanna know. Meet AppFlow. Just one of our 30 emerging trends. It's a blend of activewear and elegance. You know that look when you're kind of over at the leisure wear, but not quite ready to give up the flowy pants? It's that. It wasn't long before press outlets got on board with it, like Refinery29. And brands too. Less than a week after our report launched, Kohl's purchased the entire app flow trend package. Now there are trends for every category home, food, beauty, tech, travel, and so many more. And there are still trends available to buy across 10 verticals, but they're selling quick, so get yours before it's gone. Now our mission says that Pinterest is for everyone, and these trends do prove that's true. Pinners of all ages and demographics are driving them. So let's take a closer look. Pinterest has always been a place for women. They make up 60% of our audience globally, and we're super proud of that. And in 2020, Pinterest saw the fastest growth among men in Gen Z. Both have jumped 40% year on year on Pinterest globally. You heard me right, 40% growth. Now let's take a look at the male audience in the US. They created 13 million boards and saved an average of 20 bins per board in 2020. These guys are using Pinterest to plan plan their next outdoor adventure, their next epic playlist, even how to build their next app from scratch. They're also searching for ways to express themselves, looking for everything from tattoos and woodworking inspiration to music tutorials and monochrome outfits. And then we've got Gen Z rallying around the future. Last year, this audience created 15 million new boards and saved an average of 33 pins per board. They're pushing outside the box trends like color for eyebrows, sure, but they're doing so much more than that on our platform. They're using Pinterest as a life planner. I bet you didn't see that coming. Like Jacria, a recent college grad from Baltimore who goes back and refers to her Pinterest boards for everything in her life. Gen Z are using Pinterest to button up for their first job and plan for their financial future, saving ideas like stock trading, banking, and investment. And like so many of us, they're getting inspired to travel again and are using Pinterest to plan their bucket list trips for when it's safe to board a plane. And they're not just thinking about their own futures. They're focused on social and global issues like gender equality, mental health, and body positivity, all on Pinterest. Meanwhile, millennials are as active as ever on Pinterest using it to plan celebrations for even the tiniest of moments, like monthly anniversaries or monthsaries. 
Gen X are the foodies on Pinterest, driving searches behind new charcuterie trends and Michelin-worthy meals at home. And perhaps the most surprising, boomers are on Pinterest looking to get away, searching for nomadic lifestyle ideas and opting for life on the road. Sounds like a pretty good retirement plan to me. And as you can see, it's a diverse range of pinners behind these trends. But one thing that these global audiences all have in common, they're obsessed with video. In just the last year, we've seen an 800% increase in video uploads to Pinterest, and pinners are watching about 1 billion videos per day. So today, we're gonna announce a new way for you to connect with those video lovers. Introducing Pinterest Premiere, a whole new way of reaching your audience reliably and efficiently with Pinterest video. Available in tiers to match your reach goals, of course. These packages let you target against unique trends and moments that are made on Pinterest. Check it out. And there's more. In the coming months, we're dramatically expanding our trends tool to show you not just which trends are spiking, but the specific trends that matter to your audience. Ever wonder if your millennial audience includes pinners searching for food pairings to go with their cocktails? Well, now you'll be able to find out. In fact, Bacardi's Martini and Rossi Fiero brand lean into that epic charcuterie trend to meet their target audience aperitivo lovers with one of our emerging Pinterest trends, fancy boards. We're also cooking up more ways for you to find not just high volume insights, but also trends that are really strong for just a moment in time, like vibey lighting or indie beauty. People on Pinterest are just constantly surprising me with their mold breaking, inspiring searches. But what strikes me most is how dynamic pinners are. The Gen Zer, who's both an activist and a financial planner. The millennial male pinner, who's both an adventurer and an app developer. They're curious, they're multidimensional, and they're adaptive, and they're just like all of you, and like me. If I have learned anything from this past year, it's that all of us should be more like our pinners, open to rethinking the regular, and willing to throw away the playbook when it just doesn't work for us anymore. Getting ready for a renaissance but they need a roadmap. And that's where you come in. Be the brand that shows them how to make these ideas a reality. And you'll be the brand that helps them own the future. Because if you believe the pinners, the future is bright as hell. So <laughs> let's go.